Hello, this is Vishwas here. An international airport at Bajpay has been a dream come true for all of us Mangaloreans. Once flights from Middle East started landing at Bajpay Airport, there have been fast-paced developments all over. Now work on the new Mangalore International Airport Terminal at Kinjar Village is fast gaining momentum and the airport is expected to commence operations on schedule. Daijival team recently visited the work site to get status report on the ongoing project at the Bajpay Airport for our viewers. Plans for the new project were actually put on paper in the year 1988. Now the terminal building is under construction and is expected to complete in December this year. The new airport terminal building under construction at Kinjar is expected to commission its work in March 2009 marking another milestone in the history of Mangalore International Airport. The construction work is going on in full swing and it is easy to perceive from the speed of work that is bound to complete in time. There will be 28 check-in counters, several conveyor belts and inline security checking system. Five aero bridges will also be introduced. A whole new world of opportunities open to Mangaloreans with the commencement of the international airport. In the meantime, work was started to construct new taxiway and terminal building. The dynamism and zeal of present airport director M. R. Vasudeva has taken this airport to splendid heights in a short span of time. It is indeed a matter of great pride, especially to a remote village like Kenjar, to have a world-class airport in its vicinity. Speaking to Daiji World, M. R. Vasudeva said the entire process has been energy sapping. Most of my energy has gone into acquisition of land for the new terminal. Now I have to concentrate more on completing the construction work of the new terminal before the scheduled time, says Vasudeva. Where the construction of new integrated terminal building is going on, this will be the area where uh, we will be hand, around, uh, handling more than 500 passengers, both arriving and departing. Five uh, parking stands will be constructed here. Two aero bridges have been planned. 28 check-in counters have been planned. And uh, security, inline security, conveyor belts, all other things have been planned. Various uh, commercial facilities are also planned. The work has been going on since uh, last uh, uh, eight months and the work will be completed by December 2008. By March 2009, the new integrated terminal building operations will start. The aero bridges will be there and uh, inline security system and uh, all other uh, modern security system will be provided here with uh, uh, area for handling passengers will be increased uh, double compared to the present position and uh, we will be having all uh, airline offices and other commercial uh, offices in the basic uh, in the ground floor and the first floor will be having all uh, pro passenger processing facilities. Meanwhile, all possibilities of cargo export should be explored in the incoming days. Once the terminal is shifted to the new place, existing terminal will be used exclusively for cargo handling. Already there are quite a number of leading shipping companies eyeing to set up base in Bajpay surroundings which is definitely a sign of progress. Even Gulf-based freight forward companies are planning to step on to Mangalore soil. Meanwhile, the 483-meter-long taxiway constructed at a cost of Rs 3.7 crore is also ready for traffic now. Thousands of NRIs who reside in Kuwait and Saudi Arabia are demanding direct flight from Mangalore since the commencement of International Airport at Bajpay. The airport is all set to accept any international flight from Kuwait and Saudi Arabian airports. Nor there are any legal hurdles to commission direct flight between Saudi Arabia, Kuwait and Mangalore. But the ball is in Air India Express court. It's a million dollar question as to when Air India Express will start direct flights between the three places. Since the Air India Express is a budget airline, it can fly for maximum four and a half hours. The distance between Kuwait, Mangalore and Saudi Arabia airport, Mangalore, would be more than its capacity. Unless new aircraft are required, Air India Express cannot start direct flights between these territories. According to sources, Jet Airways is trying hard to enter the Kuwait, Mangalore and Dhamam, the Mangalore sector. But none of the top officials are confirming this news, but say, be positive, they will come there soon. Developmental activities in and around Mangalore on set of IT industries in Mangalore have made it imperative that city gets better air connectivity. In this regard, expansion and growth of Mangalore airport is imperative. But lethargic attitude and laxity shown by the local authorities has been proving a hurdle for the overall development of the airport and its surrounding areas. But now there seems to be a silver line amidst the thick clouds with the news that the new terminal will be available for use by December 2008. Hope everything will go on smoothly and the dreams of lakhs of Mangaloreans will be realized. Soon. Along with cameraman Austin Pinto, this is Vishwas for TV Daichi World.